Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world. This is The World Away and happy Tuesday. Today I'm gonna to be doing the next five stages of something we haven't seen for a while. I'm gonna be building the Valentino Rossi M1 motorcycle. So the next five stages I've got here are 64 to 68. I do have the next five after that as well. So we'll see how we get on today, if we can get onto those or not. But as you can see, it's the season to be silly. I'm starting with the Christmas shirts and uh, I really do need to be lit up like a Christmas tree. So I can't be wearing this. That's better. <laughs> I do love this get up. It's really cool, isn't it? I've got no idea what we're doing today, but I can tell you we do have a free gift and it's a die cast motorcycle looking like that pretty cool isn't it not sure where i'm going to put this one yet but it does come on its own stand which is about to fall off of so i'll just leave that gently to lie down like that <laughs> if you want to get this for yourself i'll put a link in the video description there's also a qr code on the screen that you can scan and it'll take you straight to the diagostini collectibles website but if this isn't bright enough for you i'm sure today's video will be so without further ado let's get cracking Okay, so we're going to start with stage 64. And as I said, I don't know what we're actually doing uh, in this build or this pack today. Uh, we do have the tank assembly and control unit inst in installation. Uh, we are going to be using this as well. It looks like we're actually putting this onto the main body of the bike. Now, the main body of the bike looking like this. This is where we're up to at the moment for that. Let's put that back down there. So by the end of it, it's looking just like this. And we have an assembled tank next to it. And that's the magazine. So let's open this pack and have a look at this tank. We're also going to need uh, the previous stage, which come with the other side of the tank. So let's get that one open. And as a fit, we're going to be putting both of these together just like this. And push them hard. They don't need glue or screws or anything like that. Those clips hold that in perfectly. Now we've got the brake control unit, which looks like this. We did on the previous pack where we've got a tube coming out of that. Now I've got two holes here and here for this to clip into. We have got some lugs on the other side of that. So let's get this in. One there and one there and push that in hard. And when that's in, it should look like that there. Now I do have another sensor to put in and that's this red control unit sensor. Again, this came in the last pack. That's going next to the one we've just put in into the frame here. So we've put the brake control unit in here. This one's just going into here. And again, it's a pushing. So as you can see, if I put my finger on it, that goes in just there. Now I don't know if this is going to be easier on the top camera, but there is a nipple for this to go into. It's a silver nipple just underneath all these pipes here. Hopefully you can see that on the top camera that I'm pointing to. I'm going to get this pipe we've just installed onto that nipple. And there we go, that's on. So it's going around here into that silver nipple there. And that is all there is to do in that stage. So moving on to stage 65, here's the magazine. And it looks like we are gonna be taking some more fuel tank components and adding these to this massive section we've got here. So by the end of it, we've got some tubes coming out here as well. God, there's hoses and tubes all over this bike. That's that stage. So let's get this one open. And I'm going to be bringing the tank over looking just like this. And what I'm going to be doing is taking this panel just here. And that's going to be going into the lugs on each side here. And it just clips in. It's quite tight. So that fits in on its own perfectly. I'm going to do the same with this massive panel here. This is just a clip in with some lugs on this side. One, two, three, and again, push that into place. I have applied a little bit of glue to this one because the pegs don't keep it flush and tight into there. But there we go, that's looking like that. On the top section just here, this is where the filler cap's gonna go. So that's just gonna, again, two lugs to push into the holes. One and two, and just push that in. Perfect, that's holding good. I can put that to one side and I'm just gonna get some glue here. because I'm going to put some glue just on this shaft of this connector because this is going to go into the fuel line here and I don't want it coming out just like that and then I will put some glue 
just on the other side of this connector. I tend to do this with the hoses because if they fall out while you're installing it later on, you're never going to remember where they go. This is a D-shaped hole, so this is just going in here. And I use pliers to get that in really hard there, but there we go, that's that fuel line in. That's all there is to do in that stage. In stage 66, again, here's the magazine. We are working on the left handlebar. Ah, so we've got the handlebars there. Quite a lot of things to do in this one. So we're going to be creating this. So by the end of it, we have got the brake and the start of the handlebar there. That's that magazine. So I'm wondering if the next stage is going to be the right side handlebar. We will have to see. I do like just initially looking at this, how a lot of the details are already put in place for us. And the other good thing is this whole thing is metal. So let's get these open. Okay, I've zoomed up the camera, my close-up camera, just a little bit here, because we need the handlebar uh, bracket here, and we need the stop. This is just going to be going this way round into the hole. Push that tightly in there, that's going to keep that wedged in. You do want to ensure that it fits square in there, like that. So this whole section here is going to be fitting on the handlebars, this way round into the grooves that we've got on each side here. I'm just going to do a dry fit, and that goes on just like that. Now the next two sections we've got are actually two separate pieces but when we've put them together they're going to look like that. They've got all that detailing on the top on the top there which basically says uh, deck and ack <laughs> like that. So this is going to be going next to what we've just installed here. So one is going in this way like this and the other one's going to be piecing it together from the other side. Now the easiest way to do that is to put the back piece on first because the back piece has got a locating lug in there. So if we just push those together like that, it's going to sit flat in there ready for me to just join these together on this side and push that nice and hard in. So that is now looking just like that. I love the detail. So I've got two little holes in this metal bracket down the bottom, which is for this part here. I'm just going to push these into place on here. And they go this way round, like that. I've got a hydraulic hose union, which is going to be going into the hole just underneath it. And that's in like that there. I do, think, I do like to do things backwards here. So I've got a clip here, which actually goes on the first part that we actually put in, the bracket with the... Uh, uh, cable limiter in. I'm just going to put that on now. I do like making work for myself, but that's in place like that. And then finally, in this massive D shaped hole that we've got at the back, we're just going to be putting the actual handle in, which goes in like that. This has already been spring occupied, occupied, spring loaded for us, so it has got the click like that. And that is all there is to do in that stage. <laughs> So in stage 67, are we doing the right hand side one? Let's have a look. We are the right hand side handlebar. Not as many things on this one, but it is similar to how we're putting it together. I do like how the decals and stuff are already in place for us on this. And that's that magazine. And just like last time, we've got the metal handlebar like this. And I've got two brackets that I want to put over the top again. And again, one of these brackets is actually keyed. So I can put that in there. And that will tell me the location of the clip that I'm putting on top, which I have just put in there. And there you go. That's what that looks like when that's in position. Excellent. Once again, I've got another hydraulic hose joint to put in just into this hole here. This is a D-shaped pattern, so it can only go in one way. And that's in like that. Take the brake lever. That's just going to go in here. Again, another D-shaped hole for this to fit in. And again, this is spring loaded again. And then I've got these two hoses, which I need to cut off the sprue. And I am going to be gluing these into place, but these go into these points just here. So let me get some glue at the bottom of these. There's two holes on top here. So this is the first one. And they go 
just like that. Put the other one in and the glue will hold them in. But that looks like that and that's all there is to do in that stage. So that leads us on to the last stage of this pack. This is stage 68. Again, we'll look through the magazine. And we have got the handlebar grips to put on. So we're putting the grips on here on each side of the handlebars. And it looks like we're bringing over our front section. We haven't seen this for a while. And we're going to be mounting the handlebars to each side. That's pretty impressive. So here is that stage. Let's get that open. And the first handlebar I want is the left side one. Get that out. That's the one without those pipes in that we had. And I'm just going to be pushing the handlebar on. It is keyed at the end, so it can only go on one way. So let me just slide this on. And it fits on just like that. Once it's on, if you twist it, it actually locks it into place. Perfect. I'm going to do the same on the right hand side one. It goes on this way again. It is keyed, so put this down. I didn't actually realise on this one, the uh, it has got a spring-loaded handle like that. I think that's brilliant. <laughs> okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is put the brake protector on. That's just going to go on the end here, and it's held in with one of the Allen key screws. These are screws C. I do have my wow stick here, which I'm going to load this up with to get this in. Now I'm just going to put it in, in any direction. I'll straighten that up in a second. I just want to get this screw in. And when I'm happy with where it's going, I'll tighten that up. Perfect. So that now looks like that. And we're about to put these onto the bike. On the other side of this one, I should have put the end in. Again, I'm skipping forward on instructions. I'm not doing the whole thing. So let me just put this end in here. So that looks like that. It's a little knob on the end. I had a bit left over, you see. Right, let's bring over the front section of the motorcycle. Now that, we haven't seen for a while, is looking just like this here. And I'm going to be putting this one on this side. And when we put it in, there is a little notch in there, so we need to make sure that's lined up. So it will fit on the top, and do the same on the other side. And they are both in, and that's all there is to do in that stage, that's all there is to do in that pack. I've had a fast forward to look at what we're doing in the next pack. I am going to do that in another video because it is a lot of connecting the front section to the bike and then putting a lot of hoses in. It's going to be a long video to record. But uh, those are those stages. That will be coming shortly. I'm aware that we haven't seen this on the channel for a couple of months, which is why I wanted to do it today. Uh, and it gives me a chance to uh, dress up like a Christmas tree light. <laughs> but if you want to get this for yourself, once again, it's in the video description. There's a QR code on the screen, but I really hope you like that video. If you did, please remember to give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, please remember to subscribe. Other than that, take care.